3D action beat em up games are quite rare on the PlayStation, as there really is only a handful of games that when we think of that many people would even know about. You have the likes of Fighting Force, Crisis Beat and Gekido Urban Fighters to name but a few. But there is some very rare games that were released in the Japanese region and Hakuto no Ken is one of those games that follows a long lineage of game series that would have been made popular with comic books and popular TV shows or cartoons from that region. If you know anything about this game you'll understand a familiarity with the character as he was later seen in the Fist of the North Star series that you would have seen on other consoles and even with the likes of the PS3 and modern systems moving forward that sees Ken taking revenge or trying to stop impending threats due to gang leaders in an apocalyptic type world so everywhere he seems to go trouble seems to follow so he's trying to save and help innocent people that are caught in the crossfire where bullies and gangs are trying to destroy local villages so as he's passing through he feels an obligation to in order to help them. So that's what leads on to the game's story and premise, where he has fought in battle and he's tired and weary, but yet he still finds himself tasked with trying to solve other people's problems. But with this game, solving problems usually comes in the form of using your fists. So that's what leads to the beat em up elements of the game. But this title is also quite brutal in terms of its violent nature, as yes, it is very cartoony and it's visually stunning for a PS1 game. If anything, when you look at the character model, and even the background environments. Graphically it is a sight to behold but when you engage in combat you have a distinct array of physical punches and kicks and special abilities but you also have at different intervals where you have to compete with various combo sequences and these will determine specific finishing moves that you will need to use in order to defeat certain opponents and especially boss characters later in the game. But you're usually met with some sort of animation sequence that usually results within a character's head exploding or their bodies literally exploding in a pool of blood. Some of it's too graphic for it to actually be seen within the game so they filter it through like a red or white screen just to take away from the extreme brutality of the violence that's being depicted on the screen. As yes, even though the game itself does have a cartoony element and feel to it, don't let that fool you. This game is as violent and as brutal as they come. But I suppose it just depicts the elements seen in the magazines and even on the popular TV TV show as it is a manga anime series and a very popular one but with this game it's more story focused yes you do have elements within the rounds where it's pretty much rinse and repeat you have to fend off against a couple of waves of enemies defeat a boss and then progress with the story and you gradually have to do that there's not really much in terms of exploration as such you just have an area that you need to defend or fight off enemies within and then the story will naturally progress through there but it will take time to get used to the gameplay mechanics as you have to move the character around in full 3D and while the gameplay is fast and fluent the controls themselves can be quite on the clunky side so it will take some getting used to in order to be able to master everything that's there but what it lacks in some areas it definitely makes up for in others as like I said visually the game is stunning if anything when you look at the character models it's among some of the best that I've ever seen on the PlayStation and considering it's got that cartoony style based off the comics the graphics suit it perfectly and with the game's development there is voice acting in the game although it's in Japanese but it's a depiction of the cartoon series that sees from finding articles online reprises the roles of some of the voice actors from the series itself so that adds some originality to the experience but in saying that this game would do well with a fan translation if it was at all possible so that you could really get a grip and understand the story in its entirety but hopefully one day we'll get one you never know we we'll just have to wait and see but it is an interesting title while it doesn't break new ground in terms of what it's trying to do but it is a visual delight in terms of how it tells the story and being able to jump back and forth between gameplay and the movie quality style elements of it so that in itself is worth an experience alone but i would love to know your thoughts of this game if you have played it yourself and what do you think of it overall did you even know that this game existed or are you into these unique style beat-em-ups that were seen on the playstation so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be updated for future content and if you would like to see more videos around other other unique, obscure and quirky games similar to this that were also released on the PlayStation, especially in Japan, then be sure to check out the playlist on screen to see more of those games in action. And as always, keep those gaming memories alive!